Alrighty, let's see if we've got enough battery to get this done. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 13th. March 13th is the 72nd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 73rd in leap years, with 283 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is frame. Frame is one of those multi-definition words. It can be used as a noun or a verb. It can mean a, a border or a case for enclosing a picture or a mirror. <laughs> It could be a rigid structure formed of relatively slender pieces joined as to surround a sizable empty space or non-structural panels such as might be used at, in a major support in a building or engineering works, machinery, furniture, etc. like the internal supporting structure that gives an object its shape. Frame can refer to the framework for a pair of eyeglasses Frame can mean a single one of a series of still or transparent pictures forming a cinema, television, or video film, or a single drawing in a comic strip. The word frame can be an alternate name for the body of a human being. As a verb used with an object, frame might mean to form or make as by fitting and uniting parts together, construct or contrive, devise or compose as a plan, a law, or a poem, such as to frame a new constitution. Another use for the word frame as a verb is to take or catch, as in a snare or trap, like you might hear in an old gangster movie. I was framed. <laughs> there are many more definitions for the word frame, but I think that will be enough for now. I would like to take a moment to mention that links to my sources are included in the show notes. I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Remember that you can share this video with others with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. Also, there is a link in the show notes to my This Day in History playlist. I'll be sure and add a link to that up there in the corner for you. And with that, we'll start with Harvard College, which was named after clergyman John Harvard on March 13, 1639. The planet Uranus was discovered on March 13, 1781 by William Herschel. Felix Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto received its premier performance in Leipzig on March 13, 1845. This is the birthday of Percival Lowell, born March 13, 1855. He was an American astronomer and mathematician. He saw something on the planet of Mars that he thought were canals, and of course, those have since been found to be not exactly canals, but one can easily see how he might have thought that they were. But he did see those formations, and that's remarkable. He founded the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, and formed the beginning of an effort that eventually led to the discovery of Pluto. Pluto's discovery actually took place 14 years after Mr. Lowell passed away. Partly in recognition of his efforts, a stylized PL monogram was formed with the first two letters of Pluto's name and also Lowell's initial, Percival Lowell. This was chosen as Pluto's astronomical symbol. Percival Lowell passed away in 1916 at the age of 61. On March 13, 1881, Tsar Alexander II was assassinated in St. Petersburg, Russia. This is the birthday of L. Ron Hubbard, born March 13, 1911. He was a science fiction and fantasy author, and he also founded the Church of Scientology. He lived to the age of 74. This is the birthday of cartoonist Al Jaffe, born March 13, 1921. He was an American cartoonist, most notable for his work in the satirical Mad Magazine. <laughs> he did those amazing mad foldouts. God bless him, he's still alive as I do this research, and if he stays alive all night, he'll be 100 on the, on the 13th of March, 2021. Happy birthday. Al Jaffe. Now we mentioned the discovery of Pluto a few minutes ago. The discovery of Pluto was announced on March 13, 1930 by Lowell Observatory. 
I can't help but imagine that might have had something to do with the anniversary of Percival Lowell's birthday. On March 13, 1942, the Quartermaster Corps, QMC, of the United States Army began training dogs for the newly established War Dog Program, or K-9 Corps. Eric Clapton left the Yardbirds on March 13, 1965. Apollo 9 returned safely to Earth after testing the lunar module on March 13, 1969. On March 13, 1993, a winter storm known as the 1993 Storm of the Century affected the eastern United States, dropping feet of snow in many areas. That was well before I ever went to New York, but I was acquainted with people in New York who were feeling the effects. Trucks couldn't get in with groceries. Sometimes that happens if the snow is bad enough. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> Again, links to my sources are included in the show notes. I'll be sure to add a link to the Day in History playlist up there in the corner for you also. I also list these on a blog. There's a link to that in the show notes as well. Alrighty, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Made it in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's not Florida. <laughs> All right. Okay, we gotta make that go to sleep. We'll do that in a minute. I wrote that awkwardly. Now, how are we gonna do that? All right, let's back that up just a little bit. The Volkswagen Microbrus, my, <laughs> the Volkswagen, so many mistakes. I don't know how all that's going to go together, or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up.